What's going on YouTube? If you guys want to see the first episode, go in the description, click the link. I did way too much talking in episode one to edit together a recap, which usually goes here to show you guys what happened in the last episode. So to save me from doing all that editing of 10, minute, 10 minutes worth of talking, just go to the description, click the link, and it will take you to the first episode. So with that being said, man, let's jump into episode two. right two lanes to take exit 12c on the right onto i-40 east toward nashville keep right for 162 miles continue straight We left Lyles, Tennessee. Uh, the clip you saw earlier, the clip you saw before this one was us getting on I-40, heading towards Nashville, heading heading to Lyles, Tennessee to pick up the back glass for the Malibu. Um, one of my subscribers, um, I think I pronounced his name, if I'm, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Wody. W-O-D-I is what he told me his name was, man. Shout out to Wody, man. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But shout out to Wody, man. He took time out, and he's not even from the Memphis area, but he took time out to research and found a Malibu on Facebook. He inboxed him and asked him if he was willing to sell the back glass, and man, he, he set up the whole deal. He sent me, after he set the deal up, he sent me um, the guy's phone number and the Facebook post. Um, it was actually a whole car. And he hit him up and asked him to sell the back glass. So I got it. It's back there and uh, wrapped up in a pink sheet. So um, we heading back to Memphis now. We actually stopped in Jackson, Tennessee to get some dinner at TGI Fridays. And... Um, now we gassing up and heading back to Memphis. Well, we're going to drop the glass off at the shop. Then I'm going to head home. So, all right, guys. See you guys tomorrow, man. Got about an hour till I get to the shop. Then I'm going to head home. So, shout out to Wody, man. Appreciate it, man. The guy from Florida had hit me up this morning and said he had already sold it. So I was waiting on his response, and he finally hit me back this morning and said he sold it. So, um, man, this Wody came in clutch, man. I didn't have to drive to Florida. I just had to drive two and a half hours away. And uh, he sold it, and we got it, man. So, all right, you two. See y'all tomorrow. The next day. Glass guy here to put the new glass in.
It's just sitting up there right now. So, see it in a minute. All right, YouTube, we got the back glass in. As y'all can see the glue coming out the side. So, finally, man, that was the main piece that I need. And uh, again, man, shout out to Wody for finding this glass for me. Man, I really appreciate it again, man. So, now I'm finna find some Windex, clean the glass up, and get a steel wool, steel wool Windex and a razor blade clean the back glass up and um then we're gonna move to the gas tank so see y'all in the next clip man hi youtube we got the outer part of the glass cleaned up we just gotta do the inside but i got a good detailer guy up here i let him fully detail the inside and out once we get it ready to go to the new owner i'm just doing this part also my i played for the firewall came in i just ordered everything friday friday night and uh this will this just came today um the chrome trim that i ordered it hasn't been shipped i hope he is it's uh, individual selling it instead of a company so man i hope he can get it shipped out pretty soon so i can get it you know i'm trying to get this car done and do this trade this coming sunday seven days but i don't think it'll stop it you know he, i showed him where i paid for it so if it comes in i just take it to him so i don't think it'll stop anything but all right you too i'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and uh get this mounted and uh we be back. Got that installed. We're gonna find some more 10 millimeter screws, but that'll hold for now. Tomorrow is the flow pan and the gas tank. Hopefully he knocked it out tonight. Hopefully he knocked the gas tank out tonight. Then we got left the trim and the battery tray. The battery tray will be here Wednesday. So we'll be installing the battery tray Wednesday and hopefully that'll be it. Hopefully I get the floor pans done tomorrow. To where all we gotta do is the battery tray, put the seats in, and uh, clean it up. So the next day. All right, YouTube. We got to the flow pan. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it from the bottom. I think I'm gonna do it from the bottom and weld around here. Then I'm gonna come back and weld from the back side. But I got it stuffed all the way up to the top. Now we're just gonna work our way to the back. We're gonna self tap screws here and just bend it up and work our way to the back. So that's what we're gonna be using. Screw it through the top. Once we get everything screwed in, we're gonna drop it down on the lift. And we either, either going to cut the cut the other end off, or we're gonna remove the screws after we get it welded. But after we get it sitting, we're gonna take the flat wheel, clean all the metal off, so we can get a good clean piece of metal to weld to. So. Uh, I don't have a camera, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and screw these in, and I'll show you guys when I get it all ready to drop the lift. So, see y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube. Pretty much got everything screwed in. 
I wish I could get this to sit a little, a little better, but it won't. But it's all good. I can hammer the top side down. But we got it all screwed in, sitting flush. Even the back side. So now we're going to uh, put the cross member back in. Probably put a couple more screws, but we'll put the cross member back in. And we're going to drop it down on the floor. And then I can uh, weld everything from the top side. Then come down here and weld everything from the bottom side. Seam seal and paint everything with some undercoating and we'll be done the only thing left then is uh waiting on a battery tray and um uh, i got some old carpet that i'm gonna lay in it put the seats back in it and uh ready for the customer to come get i mean well ready for the trade so all right put this cross member back in and we'll set it on the ground all right, YouTube, that's what it looked like on the inside. So now we're finna do is take my flap wheel, clean up all of this around. We're just gonna start from here and weld all the way around. And I got a piece of metal that I'm gonna remake this part right here. So, all right, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up and get it welded and we'll be back when I get this knocked out. All right, YouTube, got everything welded all the way around. The big hole that was right here, I just filled it in. I got one little small hole to fill there. Um, I'm gonna put a piece of sheet metal here to reinforce that. And I'm gonna put another piece right here, from here touching the flow pan, cause it's rusted out. Can't see it. But I'm gonna make another piece of metal that welds to this. It goes to the floor to reinforce where the seat mounts to and uh we'll be done so all right oh yeah i'm gonna make a piece of metal i'm gonna cut that out i'm gonna make another piece of metal to go there same way as right here and then we'll be done I got one little small section to put right here and the uh, floor mount took the piece of metal welded and wrapped it all the way around so now I got to put a piece of small piece right here and a small piece right here and that uh, floor mount is reinforced it was rusted out so now it's fixed and reinforced and a lot stronger now so all right just got to make these two small pieces and make that piece and we are done we'll seam seal everything paint everything black and uh lay the carpet that i got <laughs> 